Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Team Connect Zoom. It is August 2nd, holy cow. And <laughs> um, just so excited to be together, always excited to be together. And so we have a lot going on in August. Um, some new commitments, some new incentives from Arbon. I think even Carol Bodell is putting out a, a nation incentive tomorrow, which it all goes with the 40 faces. So it's like, just do the 40 faces and your, your um, you know, daily method for success sheet and you'll be fine to earn Carol's challenge too. So that's exciting. I'll, I'll let her announce that tomorrow. But, um, and oh, just to remind you, tomorrow is our nation Zoom at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll put out the flyer. I haven't seen a flyer yet. I'm sure it's just the same Maxine's number um, as usual. So um, with all of that being said, congratulations on an amazing July. We we ended as a team at like 65,300 something, um, which, which is extraordinary because a year ago, July, we finished at 42,000. So quite a big jump for, you know, a summer month, which, which tends to be a little, a little slower and you know, it is what it is. It's okay. Plus this is just an unprecedented, you know, pandemic time. No, none of us have gone through this before. Our buns never gone through this before. So, um, um, just again, to brag on our bun as well, we have as a company grown month over month, 20% growth for, 21 months now something like that it's crazy like what company do you know that's 40 years old that has grown 20 percent every month month after month after month i mean i have goosebumps right now plus you know during all of this quarantine craziness and everything too so um it, we we are in the right company at the right time with the right products with the right people at the at the you know head of the ship driving the whole thing so it's just um yeah i wanted to give you that reassurance even if july wasn't what you thought it what you wanted it to be <laughs> you're still with the right company at the right time with the right products you know with the right um leadership so uh we have oh my goodness let me just read off a little bit of recognition i'll, I'll type this all up and post it too um but mallory nicole had our top personal qualifying volume at 6,400. Um, Courtney was second with 3,566. And then Amy, 2716. Megan, 2329. Sherry, 2121. Um, so yes, that was cool. The top sponsoring, Mallory, with 11 personal sponsors. I mean, she's like going gangbusters. Sherry sponsored three. Tammy three, Amy three, Shuey three, Wendy two, Megan two, Lynn two, Courtney two, Melissa two, Brittany, Brittany Peepler two, yay, Lindsay two. Um, so that's cool. And then the top central districts and sponsoring, I have the top district um, with over 11,000 and five new and Sherry had 70. This is, this is huge, you guys. Sherry had a district of 7,957 plus seven new. This is, um, Cecilia has always said to build your district to area numbers, meaning build your district to 10,000. And then it doesn't matter who promotes out as a district manager. You're gonna have this solid, solid foundation for your business. So way to go, Sherry. Um, Mallory had 7,200 plus 13. Courtney, Courtney had a strong district too. Woo, 5,900 um, plus two new. Amy, 4,483 plus four. Lynn, 4,000. Wendy, 3,300. Chewy, 3,000. Laura, 27. I mean, we have really strong districts. It's so cool. So I'm excited to, um, and like I said, I'll type this all out, but I'm excited for this call today because I hope it gives you a bigger picture. If you have a strong, solid district right now, you have a lot to build on. You have a great foundation. And I'm actually gonna share my numbers, you guys, from when I you know, was a district manager and just you know, <laughs> barely breathing and <laughs> show you the progression. So I'm excited to share that to you. Top area, so yay. Um, area was 43,000 plus 31. Um, Sherry had 10,000 over 10,000 plus 11 new in her area. Courtney, 5,900 plus two. 
Lindsay, 2,685 plus three. Megan had 2,656 plus one. And then our bone, and you know what? When you're a brand new area, you promote and then you're trying to rebuild. We're all rebuilding, rebuilding all the time. So <laughs> that's what those numbers are about. And it's okay. Our bond gives us that leeway to rebuild at every level when we promote. Um, and then our bonus earners, district manager bonus, um, I earned mine, Sherry did, Mallory did. So congratulations to Sherry for earning your district manager bonus. That's huge, it's huge, because that means you're working your personal business and that's where everything else stems from. And then um, I earned my area and region bonus too. So yay, so exciting. Um, so congratulations everyone. And I wanted to, again, just you know launch the 40 faces for the rest of the year. Let's let's get out our 40 face sheet um, and do it. August, September, October, November, December. It doesn't matter where you are right at this moment, doing these 40 faces and staying diligent and consistent for five months. Oh my goodness, you will be, you will definitely have a new title by December 31st. So <laughs> I don't know, does anybody want that? <laughs> um, we're going nation, so let's go. And, and this is it, it's just drilling down on the basics. So our system, for those who are new, and we wanna meet you, Kara, um, our, our system for success, which is proven, is to talk to 40 new people a month and that means sharing, that, that doesn't mean just, you know, sending them a little text message. That means having a full conversation about what makes Arbonne different, why you decided to be part of it, um, and giving them the option of becoming a preferred client or, or consultant and telling them that there's an income opportunity attached to these amazing products as well. So it's all of those components, um, being able to talk to 40 people. And, um, and that is our system for success. And by doing that, statistically, we will sponsor, yes, we're gonna sponsor product using PCs, but we will sponsor right around three to four business builder consultants as well. Um, will they stick? I don't know. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. That's why it's good to have more than one <laughs> to be launching every month. Um, but, but statistically, you're gonna have a good handful of of business builders. So think about this. If we, if, when, when we stick to our 40 faces for five months in a row, think about that. That could initially, that could, that could turn into 20 new business builders. Does anybody want that? <laughs> 20 new business builders to work with. Will they all stick? I don't know. But what if 10 did? We went, we went region, we promoted to region with I think 11, 11 business builders. So, wow, you could turn the whole ship around in the next five months, sticking to your 40 faces. I just wanna get you excited about that. Um, and I, I'm gonna, I didn't set up the Facebook yet, book group yesterday, but I did my daily method for success sheet. And um, I'm gonna set up just a diary of 40 faces and what that looks like. So if anyone wants to join in, I'd love to have you, but it's just my personal accountability and you can kind of see if, if you're interested, how I work through objections, the obstacles that I'm coming up against, <clears throat> what my daily <clears throat> activity is every day. And I'm just, I'm just doing it, doing the 40 faces and daily method for success sheet. And I'm excited because yesterday I stuck to it. I wasn't gonna, you know, turn in the day until I finish it and um, have two parties book, one new PC, got a order for the new bundle, which who wants to talk about what's new? But anyway, it's just exciting. It, it, it felt good to be on the first of the month and have, you know, have some traction and things on, on the calendar. So I'm so excited about this month and I hope you are too. Um, who wants to share what's, what's new with our bond for August? Do you want to, Lauren? You're so, you're so good at it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me run in. Can you, once again, I gotta say goodbye to Michaela. She's heading off to work, and then oh, I. Okay, sure. All right, sure. Well, no you wanna just talk, maybe talk, introduce it, and then I can explain more of it. Okay. Okay, one second. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, we also have that, uh, Chris, so there's a, there's a conference next Saturday, the 8th. Did you guys see that? It's a virtual online Zoom with um, Chris and Amy Weiler, which are, so, they're an amazing 
um, power couple in our bond. And they, they brought in all these guest speakers, so Dana Collins, Avery, Honeycutt. Um, I can't remember all the speakers. Do you know, Lauren? Yeah, I think it was Avery, Dana, was it Kirsten Walter? Um, yeah. I think there was a big list on the, on the website too of all the big, big people that were talking in this virtual conference. I can't remember all the names though. I definitely saw Avery on there and Avery's like my number one. Yes. I don't <laughs> so excited. I don't know if Peyton um, oh, Yeah, there. here it is. It's a life for leadership training. Um, so Carlita Nelson, who she's one of my heroes because she was the nurse, you know, and now she's one of the top MVPs in our bond. Dana Collins, Ashley Strong, Gordon Frazier, Tara Bransma, Alyssa Cavallero, Avery Honeycutt. Um, and Steon Mark. So Steon is the um, the son of the founder of Arbonne, who passed away, but the son will be also sharing about the history of Arbonne and stuff too. So it'll be great. I'll post that again. Um, it's you know donation based. If you want a donation, you know give a donation to their uh, horse rescue. You're welcome to, or you can just jump on and learn. And I highly, highly recommend plugging into everything offered when you're new. <laughs> When you're when you're season two, because it helps. You just hear things differently, even if it's the same thing. You hear it differently because you're in a different place in your business. So I recommend you know jumping on um, if you can. So that's next Saturday. Okay, so back to you, Lauren. Do you want to share? Yeah. So I'm actually I love this bundle because this was the way that I stocked up. What was it like back in February? Did they have this? It was February or January? In March and April. Cause it, was, yeah, it, was so right so <laughs> it was crazy because it yeah, all the months been with it. Yeah. Um, so add any 400 QV of your choice to your cart and you do receive 50% off as an IC and 40% off as a PC. So you can basically get a bunch of product and just create your own bundle versus like sticking to the 30 days to healthy living. So I throw a bunch of like just makeup products and I throw a bunch of um, nutrition products in and you can get it at that discounted price. And and then another thing with that, Tammy, did you say that ASVPs don't count when you add those into your bag? Like you can't double dip with those? Correct. So if you, so if you want to do the 30 days, just, I, just piece it out. And it, it's actually a better deal to do individual items with, with this bundle deal. Yeah. And then the other thing that I'm super excited about, has everyone seen this two-in-one face mask that they came out with? So it's the two-in-one color. And I'm actually leading with that because I have a lot of friends that like my face is breaking out because of the masks and mine is too. <laughs> yeah. So I'm super excited because they've been asking me, I've had a few people message me asking me like, what can they do to get better skincare products? So I'm leading with this mask and then I'm leading with the bundle because they can get $400 if they sign up as a PC, you can do the 400 QV and get the 40% off or the 50% off. So I'm leading with creating your own skincare routine to you. And then throwing in that new mask in there as kind of like a cool little incentive because it turns gold or is it rose gold and gold? It could turn one and you don't know which one until you put it, until it turns, which I think is pretty cool. That's, see, that's a good title for Facebook party, the, the mask for your mask face. <laughs> yeah, I was actually going to message you about it later because I was just got to thinking that would be, this month is something awesome because... Some people are like, well, my skin's so dry, but then they want to use like the anti eight the prep work. So this month I was kind of thinking of doing a Facebook party where pe people create their own skincare line based on all the lines that we have. Because I love one cleanser from the Biohydra, but I also love some stuff from the prep work. So it's a great month to be able to mix and match with people, and especially adding like the, a lot of people love the intercom, adding the intercom in there too, and just mix and matching all of Arbonne's products for a great discount. Plus, plus introducing the skin elixir and the digestion plus, you know, for, for skin irritations. That'd be great because we're inside and out. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I love the mix and match. I think that's a really fun idea. Plus, you know, your summer essentials for makeup, you know, because if, if you're wearing a mask of your face, at least you need mascara and you get your eyebrows set. <laughs> you may not need like foundation or like foundation from like here up. So you need like, yeah, because I can't wear it because it rubs off and you're like, what's the point of putting it on? There was, need, yeah. <laughs> there's a girl in Arbonne, I forget her name, Lisa, somebody, but um, she did the, she did the training for the cherry blossom, you know, uh, palette. 
anyway, she has such a funny thing on her Instagram where she puts her mask on and she's a makeup artist and she just puts foundation over her whole mask and does her does her highlighting and contouring and does her lips like she struck, you know, like folded the <laughs> mask in between her lips and like did liner and did a lip. <laughs> she's like, yep, I did it. And she walks out the door. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> If you're so inclined to do that, Lauren. <laughs> I might have to, because that's pretty funny. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of people, like, people at work, they're like, I can't wear make, like, I can't wear my foundation or powder, and there's no point to. I'm like, well, just go from here up. Just yeah. put your mask on and then do your makeup. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I know, those things just make you so hot, too. I, uh, so here, let's, so, so who's excited about the bundles? Because it's true, this is, um, this was a grand slam in March and April. And again, I've, I've been around Arbon a long time. I've never seen them do this kind of stuff. Um, but I just, like, I get emotional over it because I can just tell that they truly want to meet our needs where we're at. And people are having, you know, some hardships with budget and everything else. And um, it's just so cool that they're doing this again. So, so again, it's 50% off for consultants with a with $400 worth of products in your cart, and it's 40% off for PCs. Mind you, the QV, and QV is what we get promoted on, the QV is 280, okay? So there's $400 worth of products, the QV for us is only 280. So just know that, that we are kind of losing a little bit of QV, but if it means getting more people on more product, that's, that's actually a win. Um, so just, you know, when you're doing your math in your head, <laughs> it's 280 QB. Um, so that's exciting. And, uh, we'd love to hear from, do you want to introduce Kara? We'd love to meet you, Kara. Yeah. And then after this, Lindsay wants to share her, um, makeup party, which is. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. So yeah, I'm excited to introduce Kara. Kara and I um, actually, I know her parents or her stepmom and dad for a long time, for years and years. My parents are good friends with them. They live on the same lake. Um, her dad is amazing. I've always had a good time around him. He's a hoot. Um, but she actually got introduced to Arvon because of uh, her stepmom. Like she was over at her house. They gave her product. She loved it, felt immediate results. And then Carla is her name. She texted me and she's like, hey, Kara would, would like to sign up and I was like oh okay and so so yeah she she signed up what was it like a week ago ordered some yeah, products. It was really, this is this week. yeah. yeah. It's my first order um and it's pretty much stuff that I've tried prior with my stepmom um and I love it like now I use it every day pretty much um so yeah I'm a sophomore at Indiana in, at Indiana University um, and I'm just excited to learn more about what you put in and on your body and just all of that good stuff. Yeah, that's what was impressive to me yesterday when Kara and I talked and we sh I did a Discover Arbon with her and just learned a little bit more about her is that she really is, has been learning on her own about what's um, good for her body and being in human biology and wanting to be a PA. She's trying to understand all that. So she's been researching it. So this just seems like a really good fit to continue to learn and all of that. So I'm super excited that you're a part of this team. Yes, thank you. That's awesome. Um, oh my goodness. So, so wait, did I meet, did I meet your mom? Did, was Carla at your mom's party when I was there? Do you remember? I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, it sounds I familiar, that name. Maybe I've just heard you talk about it. Might have been. I don't remember. Gosh, I'm so bad at that. <laughs> Long time. Uh, well, I'm so excited to, um, to welcome you, Kara. This is going to be fun. And yeah, yeah is it okay if everyone just goes around and says like a little bit about themselves so she can see the different variety of backgrounds of people? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I, I was a nurse in labor and delivery and um, for six years working midnight shift and I, I didn't know, I, I knew that I couldn't be a nurse on the midnight shift for the rest of my life. <laughs> but, um, and I knew I didn't want to just work to pay bills because it was so depressing. Um, but I didn't know what to do. I was always thinking I needed to invent something to create extra income without being clocked in. 
Um, I actually went through breast cancer in my 20s, so I wasn't able to work for six months. And I mean, it, it really hit me that I needed a backup plan. And yeah, I fell totally in love with Arbonne. And then someone told me there was a business attached. And it took me a while, which I'll share a little bit about that today. It took me a while to get going in the business, but just didn't get it. I didn't understand how this how how you build a business i knew how to like talk about products but i didn't understand really the business model but once once i did yeah i was able to replace my nursing income in a couple of years and yeah now now we're going nation <laughs> so it's exciting um yeah it's exciting that our bond was the thing that i didn't even know it was that i was looking for yeah go ahead do you want to share mia Let me unmute myself. Uh, hi, uh, I'm a mom and a wife. I have two uh, teenage daughters and I am a hairdresser for over 30 years. And um, I'm looking forward to this being my retirement plan. And that's it. <laughs> Love it. And you were in Arbonne before, got out of yeah. it and then jumped back I didn't in know because it's an awesome company. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was in Arbonne before when my kids were babies and um, got out of it and uh, couldn't stop thinking about it and missed the products and realized what a great opportunity it was, especially as, you know, I'm getting older in my career and wanting to leave that behind. I really didn't have a plan B, so this is my plan B, and I'm so happy to be back. Sweet. I'm happy to have you. All right. Lauren, do you want to share? Yeah, I can share. Um, so my name is Lauren and I just graduated from Ferris State University with my degree in education. And although I have my degree in education, education is a tough field to be in. And I haven't been able to go into education just because of some test regulations um, here in Michigan. So I was like, what do I do now? Um, so I've just got a retail job and now I felt like I was in fight or flight, and I've been in Arbonne since 2016, Tammy, 17, somewhere in there. <laughs> it's been so many years. Um, mm. But I started the business, and then I kind of got out of it for a while, um, just because I kind of let life get in the way, and I didn't pri prioritize the Arbonne business. And up until a few months ago, I realized that Arbonne is a gift, and that no matter how hard you work at it, and just keep working at it no matter how hard it gets um, you will see results and you will get there eventually and you, there will be setbacks but those setbacks are what makes for a greater comeback and that's how I feel this month is that it's going to be a great comeback and just never give up on Arbon because Arbon's always sat in the back of my head for the last four years it's constantly been I needed like Arbon is my vehicle and I need to use it so that's my biggest advice too. Love it. Who else? Let's see, Brenda, do you wanna share first? Sure. Hey, I'm Brenda, and I started in February of this year, and Sherry's my sponsor. Love Sherry. <laughs> I just love this whole team. It's just an amazing community that we have here, so so glad to have you on board. I work full-time as a visual merchandiser at IKEA, so that's, I love my, what I do, but I want a plan B because Sherry and I used to work together at Vera Bradley and my job got dissolved and I did not have a plan B when um, that happened. So definitely looking forward to growing my plan B and my ultimate goal is this would take my full-time job and I'd just be able to work on this, but that's my, my ultimate goal. So um, love having this whole team as partners and being able to work on this and grow it and Love the product as well, too. So, yeah, welcome aboard. Yay, love it. And then, let's see, and then Courtney and then Lindsay. Oh, if Courtney can, can you jump on? Hi, yeah, I can okay. jump on. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. I, when did I join Arbonne? Has it been a year? Maybe, a little over a year. Um, and I just love it. My I'm a real estate broker and I live in the Chicagoland area. Um, I'm a mom of three kids and a wife and I just fell in love with the products. I started, my sister sent me um, the 30 days to healthy living for my 40th birthday last year 
And it just, I just fell in love with everything. And now there's Arbon in my shower. It's in my cabinet. It's in my, it's in all my bathrooms. It's, it's in my purse. It's just everywhere. So I use really all of the lines and I don't know, couldn't love it more. So I love sharing it and I hope to continue and just hopefully I'm still an area manager. I think I am, but who knows? (laughs) And, um, but yeah, that's, that's how it's been. I just absolutely love the team, love all of you. And my favorite part about Arbonne is obviously the products, but I totally agree. The people, you guys are just rocks and so supportive um, for everybody. So it's, it's wonderful. Love it. That's it. Sorry, I'm not on my photo, but I don't look that pretty right now. So, (laughs) and it's still real early. Oh, you're cool. Thanks for being on. (laughs) All right. And then Lindsay, do you want to share? And then you can share a little bit about your party too. Yeah, sure. Hi. Welcome, Kara. Um, I and Courtney, it's not quite been a year yet, although I know it feels like it has. Um, I, I, I started, um, I was introduced to Arvon uh, about a year and a half ago almost um, through the cleanse. I did the cleanse through my sponsor who she's not on on this call today, but her, she rolls into Sherry, who rolls into Tammy and, and on up. Um, but I was introduced to the cleanse, did the cleanse, loved it, had amazing results and decided to live my lifestyle 80-20 uh, moving forward and very quickly started getting into, you know, cleaner, safer products throughout the entire product line and, and changing, changing things out in my own household for myself and for my family. Um, and by the fall of last year, so I haven't been a consultant for quite a year yet, probably about nine months or so, um, in uh, November, I think it was when I started, I became a consultant just because of my love of this company, my love of this community and wanting to share with everybody else around me. So that's my, that's my story. Um, I, am, I have a full-time job. I'm a CFO of a marketing services agency. I have two small boys. Um, so, you know, have lots keeping me busy outside of Arbonne, but I, I love this company so much I choose to do it in any spare time I can and, and trying to grow a business because like somebody else said, this is um, my retirement strategy. I look forward to, you know, spending my life with all of you and, and, you know, someday living, leaving corporate life and, and just getting to take this in and all day, every day. So can't wait for it. Um, and currently an area man, executive area manager, um, because my sister, Courtney Cook, who you just heard from is, is also an area manager. So that's me. But yeah, I wanted to share about this makeup party because it's, it's been a long time in the making. And, you know, I think it just took a bit of time from a logistics perspective. You know, everybody's busy in summer and running, you know, as much as we are kind of, you know, in a different world these days and not, not having the same activities that we typically do. I feel like everybody's vacationing a lot more, running houses, places a lot more and, and all of that. But, um, I picked up a client a while ago who loved my skincare and she bought her daughter who is um, a graduating fifth grade or going into sixth grade here, which is middle school where we live on the East coast. Um, she bought her daughter for graduation back in, in June, a whole ready and five set because it's like, it's, you know, a lot of the clean look, it's not a lot of heavy makeup and it was her graduation present and she wore it for her graduation ceremony and all of that. And so as an output of that, she was like, you know, her, all of her best friends, her little crew of girls, they're all like super into makeup. It's the thing in sixth grade that moms start letting the girls, you know, wear a little bit of makeup apparently. And she's like, we should do a makeup party and, and all of that. So I invested in a lot of the makeup, specifically everything that comes in the ready and five and, and a lot of the, you know, the color ranges. And then I dabbled in a few other things too, just to have, And so we finally got this makeup party scheduled and it was Thursday Um, and it was such a hit. And a couple of the moms were there. I ended up um, selling over almost $700 in QV um, just in one two hour party um, with 
five little girls and two parents that were, were purchasing. So it was really great. And we ended up signing up the mom because she was only always a, um, a real client playing, paying retail. And we ended up signing her up um, as a consultant and she was able to get the best price for everybody. And we put everything on, on one tab, which was nice, but I'm hopeful I'm going to get two other clients as an output of it. And who knows, maybe even convert one of them into really working the business for me. So it was just such a great event. And the one thing that was really cool, so, because I did bring the skincare, um, and I brought a lot of my own personal product stock, and you know, I sanitized everything and then sanitized it after I was done and bringing it home. And I had gloves there and, and san you know, uh, Purell and everything. And I was like, you can dip into product if you have clean hands. Otherwise, a lot of things are pumps and I had wedges and lip wands and, and everything, applicators for them to use. Um, but the moms were super into the skincare, buying stuff for themselves. They were getting to sample a lot of masks. And a lot of these little girls ended up not only buying makeup, but they all bought a clear future line. And I actually had two of the products because I personally use them. I had the Clear Future um, Cleanser because I use that to keep my rosacea in check, um, but also the Soothing Overnight Mask. And these little girls are obsessed with masks, guys, like masks. So I had the Detox Mask, that mask. I had my Cellular Renewal RE9 mask, and I had the Eye Gel masks. And people were buying stuff. Um, but I had three people buy the Clear Future products. Um, and then I have another mom that wants to circle back with me and might buy the whole line for her son who's struggling really bad with, with the acne at that age. So I was really psyched about having that. I mean, not only skincare so people could sample it too in addition to the makeup, but also um, that was a big hit with that kind of demographic, that like age range. So it was really cool. And it was just so much fun. Like it was, it's so fun to have these parties in person, you know, like when people are, are down for having them, it was a small group. We were outside, everybody was spaced, everything was sanitized. I was super careful, but, um, it was just so much fun. So much fun. I know. I agree. The makeup parties are fun. I've done two and I'm always like, Oh, I wonder how this is going to be. And then it's like a blast. Everyone's just chatting and talking and music playing, whatever. It's, it's fun. I love it. I love what you said too, is you said I invested in, in the makeup and it is, it, sometimes we get a little like gun shy about investing into our business, but it pays off. It pays off. It pays. How much did we use that makeup set that I have, yeah. Jerry? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we use it all the time. Well, and I had a party, I had a party earlier in July, mid July in my front yard. I did a happy healthy hour. And I invited a whole bunch of neighbors um, because I have a girlfriend who is, you know, selling clean wine and, you know, it kind of aligns with, okay, if you are going to drink, you know, and you're not, you know, you're not on the cleanse. It's like super clean wine with low sugar, no additives, all that good stuff. So because she's an Arbonne client of mine, I'm, I was like trying to drum up business. I'm like, let's do this together. Like you can sell wine. I'm going to show off Arbonne. And I got a whole bunch of new clients that night too, but I had the makeup out that night and people were really interested and people bought glasses from me and all this stuff. Um, but it's just so much fun. And you know what? It's a great way to use our 125 for 30 is you can stock up on a lot of things, you know, whether it's skincare or makeup, if you want to do these parties and have stuff, not only for your own sampling and to be able to demonstrate, but, um, you know, to share if you do parties, you don't have to have the whole range, but I think it's great sometimes when people get to see what these things look like and feel like in person, even if it's not their right color, um, you know, because then they get to see like how, which good, how great quality this stuff is. And I don't know, there's something about being able to see and feel something in person sometimes that, that does it for people. So, you know, I did the Ready and Five and, you know, there's not a ton of lines. Like I got, I think, four different concealers and I have all three of the CC creams. I have one or two mascaras. And then with the glosses and the blushes, I did buy, I think, most of the color palettes and then a bronzer or something. But you don't even have to do that. But it's a great way to stack up, I think, you know, to use those awards to get stuff super cheap so you have them in your, to be able to share with. I love it. That's actually why Arbonne has that um, 
for consultants, um, the 125 for 30 deals. So, so Kara, when you place the 250 order as a consultant, you're going to get 35% off of that. But then you also get the option to buy an additional $125 worth of products and pay only $30. So for me, when I was first getting started, I would take a catalog to work. I would collect 250 increments of orders, and then I would buy my own products with that 125 for 30. Or I would buy makeup, you know, for demos, or I would buy samples or host gifts. That that's why Arbon gives us that, you know, so that we can stock up without breaking the bank when we're getting started. Now, mind you, that 125 for 30 does not count for QV. So we don't get promoted on that, you know, that doesn't, so that's just like, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it's great for people on a budget. I love, um, I love that you said you loved having people try things in person. And something I saw Bethany Jones doing is um, she would do the, the facials or, I don't know, party, however she was doing it, but she would send everyone a sheet mask beforehand, a sheet mask, maybe a detox tea and a fizz stick. You could maybe send out a, a mascara sample, something like that. So they have a few products in hand for the night of the party and everyone would put on the sheet mask and stuff on Zoom or <laughs> and laugh about it and everything. But at least they're feeling it, you know, they're having a product experience, even if you can't be in person. So that's another option as well. Those sheet masks are pretty affordable. And you, again, you, you could put them in your 125 for 30 and get a whole bunch. Um, and then the samples, like mascara samples and stuff, you would have to get from the business aid section. So, but they're super affordable too. Well, yeah, and all the applicators you can get in the, the business aid section too, like the lip gloss ones, the mascara ones, the eyebrow ones, all, wedges for like, the CC cream or blush and they're so cheap you like for two three dollars you get like 25 so I've just been stocking up on those love it yes yay well that's an awesome um, share thank you so much it gets me excited <laughs> um, I I wanted to just share briefly on the difference between um, direct sales and network marketing and share some numbers. And then Sherry's gonna close us out with talking about Beach Money, our book of the month. Um, so when I first started, and the reason I was, I was wanting to share on this is because I, I didn't get it. When I first started, I just thought this was all about sales. And I, I honestly did not understand how people promoted to area manager. I'm like, how, you know, cause I was a district manager for eight years. <laughs> And, um, you know, I was, I was a pretty, pretty okay district manager, um, bonus every now and then and stuff. Um, but I just didn't get how to grow. And it was, so that's the difference when you're focused on sales and sponsoring PCs, you're, you're focused on direct sales, direct selling. Um, when you're focused on sponsoring consultants who can duplicate themselves and sponsor other people and build their networks, um, and you're talking about the business opportunity attached to these products, that's when we're doing network marketing. So I just wanted to, you know, share the difference. And and if if you want to, you know, stay at a level, focus on sales. If you want to grow in this company, we have to focus on sponsoring. And Sherry and I have talked a lot about that. Sometimes we get all obsessed and crazy about the number, the QV, but really the most important number is the sponsoring because that's future growth. If you're, whatever you and your team are doing right now, that's, that's it. There's nothing else <laughs> unless you add more team, then you're gonna have some growth. So I wanted to share, um, something with you that maybe will be interesting. This is, it's Boothby now, but anyway, with, <laughs> this is kind of my journey um, up to RVP and, and just to show. So, um, so in 2012, in January of 2012, this was a significant month. It brings tears to my eyes because that's the month my sister died. And yeah. That order, 610, was probably my own personal order. I had no sponsoring. 
and I lost my district that month. <laughs> so I had been a district for six years. I lost it the month my sister died. I knew I would because I hadn't been doing Arbonne or anything. It was just whatever. And here's the deal, you guys. When you lose a title, you can get it right back. You can be a district manager 82 times. It doesn't matter. You can get it right back. So, so that's what I did. The next month I was back in qual for district. Um, I'd have to do the math here, but I think I was a district by April. I don't know. Anyway, April or May, I had become a district manager again. And I had done a couple parties in March. Um, I sponsored well, I must have done a couple parties in April because I sponsored someone in March and then she did, she did a party. That's what happened. And um, so anyway, then I was able to get my district back. Um, but look, you guys, the, the, I really wasn't a rock star at all. <laughs> I was just barely breathing at this point. So got, got my district back. Um, I think, yeah, I think I had another party in June or something, but basically just kind of hanging in there. July, had a fun summer, wasn't sponsoring, wasn't doing activity really. These are all like reorders. Um, so, you know, just take a look, take a look at the sponsoring. My yearly volume, that whole, you know, that whole year I did 28,000 in volume which, you know, that's still a business. I, I generated 28,000 for Arbonne. That's still a business, you know, right? Um, and my average monthly volume was 2388. So bare, like, like not even district numbers, just below district numbers. My total sponsored for the entire year was 13. <laughs> so again, we're not moving and shaking here, but I want you to see, like, this is the hard way <laughs> to go in Arbonne is to not, is just to be barely breathing. It's like, be all in, you know, that, that's what I can say about that. But also know that Arbon is here no matter what your life circumstance. You know, if you have some hardships and some hard times and you just have to take a breather, it's okay. It's okay to lose a title and you can just come right back. Um, so I love that about Arbon And other companies, I've heard that if you lose a title, you can't, you like lose your, all your sponsors go up to the person who sponsored you. Like you lose them, you lose that leg. And I, I, I was mind, my mind was blown when I heard that. Cause I thought how sad, you know, but in Arbonne, you can always, as long as you renew every year, you can keep your foot in the door. Even if your team passes you, you can keep your foot in the door and then pass them right back. <laughs> so just know that. Okay. So 2013 was a cool time because it was actually April when I decided to do this as a business. Before I had dabbled, I had kind of done parties, then you know, started and stopped, started and stopped. I just wasn't consistent. I kind of went for incentives. If, you know, if Carol put something out, I went for it, but then I went back to sleep. <laughs> I remember many times where I decided in my head I was gonna quit Arbonne and then I would get a text message from someone asking for products and I'm like, darn it, I was gonna quit, but now someone wants something. So I guess I won't quit this month. So <laughs> just know I wasn't, you know, I wasn't all in until April of 2013. I I decided, and it was because I had my own experience with the 30 day plan. Um, I decided that this was going to be my way to honor my sister's life by sharing health with others. And I just, I had a strong why. I also closed the back door. I just decided I'm going to do this until not for six months, not for, you know, one year. I'm, I'm, I don't care how long this takes me. I'm going to do this and give it a fair shot and treat it with respect. And so that meant doing. I did, I, I had two jobs, you guys. I worked at the hospital. I also did home care as a nurse and I committed every Tuesday to having an event at my house. And then I also tried to book something, a coffee appointment, someone else hosting, whatever. We weren't doing a lot online at that point. Um, so everything was kind of in person, but I committed. I committed to two events a week. That was my rhythm of life. So in April, I booked my calendar. I think I had 10 things on my calendar, 10 parties, and five held. So I actually executed five parties, and my total sales was 31.28, and I had some new signups. So I was like, sweet. You know, I was pretty stoked about that. In May, I actually had got my bonus as a district manager, and that was a big deal. I remember talking on the phone to Carol and just like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm doing it, I'm in, you know? <laughs> and then um, June, I think someone ended up 
going into qualification for district and then she had some parties and stuff and so then we went into qual for area you guys look at that i decided in april one two three months later we were in qual for area and this is again just by upping the activity i don't know if i was doing 40 faces i don't think we were tracking that at that time but but just show the power of like getting some activity on your calendar we didn't finish area you can see because you know people fall out people who were in qual for district didn't you know they just decided to do other things whatever whatever it's fine i still stayed in and look district bonus district bonus district bonus district bonus district bonus district not quite not quite district bonus right there but but you can see so that year you know I did 60,000 in sales for our bond. My average went way up to 5,000 a month. Total sponsored 47. Yay. I'm on the scoreboard. It's exciting. And um, district manager bonus six times in that year. And I'm harping in on this because I want you to hear that this is what it takes. Earning those bonuses and sponsoring. Those are the number, you know, an activity on your calendar. Those are the things we need to focus on. And the volume comes, the volume will come. The business builders will come when we focus on those things. So 2014, um, again, district manager bonus. I want you to see all 12 months. That's huge. I want you to hear that all 12 months in 2014. Um, and again, doing two events a week, two events a week, even if, you know, again, my team kind of fell away that I was working on and then had to find some new people, but I was so committed Two events a week, two events a week. Um, and in April, we went back into qual for area. So that was exciting. Um, I was, I was a little bummed because GTC was that month in April and we were in qual for area, not an area. So I missed the, missed the pure vibe party, <laughs> but you know, I was still excited to be in qual for area and you can see our sponsoring was, was picking up a little better. And, um, then we finished qual in, in May and you guys, that number is significant to me because I remember I stayed home my significant other at the time left and went up to um, you know, the vacation home in Harbor Springs. And I stayed home in Detroit because I was determined to finish area. I was determined to keep, you know, that was Memorial weekend. I was home working. I was on the phone. I was sponsoring people. I was doing everything I could to not only finish area, but I earned the Arbon trip, whatever it was that year, I earned the trip. So. I missed going up north. Did you hear that? But I became an area manager and earned a vacation with Arbonne. So that was the exchange. And and I tell you what, there was no better feeling. I was so excited. I remember Carol called me to congratulate me and I was actually doing another presentation. And so she couldn't even get a hold of me because I was in so much activity. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll have to get back to you. I know, I know, it's, it's exciting. Okay, <laughs> talk to you later. <laughs> um, so then we were an area in June, um, again, steady sponsoring. I was getting a little, I don't know. I just felt a little frustrated in here because it's like, okay, I'm an area now, but how do you get your area bonus? Man, that just felt, I felt like I was the only one on my team working. And I don't know if you ever felt that way, but I just, I just was getting a little frustrated. So I had a pep talk with Carol here in September. And she said, Tammy, you're doing all the things. You just have to do more and start tracking exactly how many people you're talking to. And that's where I, I didn't, I wasn't aware. I thought, oh, sure. I've, I'm talking to 40 people a month. But actually when I tracked it, it was like 15 to 19. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't 40 people a month. So I adjusted that, um, really started tracking. I did my 40 faces, um, you know, sponsored double what I had, um, 40 faces here. 40 faces and we um i think i ended up promoting another district manager that month um we hit our area bonus hallelujah that was exciting um way more volume way more sponsoring 136 sponsored into our team that year um solid area manager and then the next so think about this this was september one two three four months of doing 40 faces and we were in region qual I want you to hear that <laughs> 40 faces four months in a row and we were region qual so my challenge is all of us 40 faces five months this year i promise you you're going to be in a whole different place 
look how our sponsoring jumped from 17 to 48. I mean, holy cow, just by bringing on more team, we ended up, um, this was cra a crazy time too, because we ended up getting a new website with Arbon, so I couldn't even see the number. Oh, it was just ridiculous, but we just kept pressing forward, doing our activity. We had to call Arbon for every order to have it placed, you know, by hand, by the customer service, which you had to wait. Oh, it was nuts. Anyway, <laughs> we got a new computer system, but we still promoted to region April 1st um, of, of, where am I? April, I don't know if those are the right numbers. I don't know, whatever it was, we promoted um, April 1st of 2015. And and again, we were a bonusing region by December. We brought on almost a half a million in sales that year. Um, my average monthly was 41,000. We brought on 389 new, new, but I want you to see this too. Again, district manager bonus all 12 months. So, woo! <laughs> I hope that was helpful for you because I was snoozing. In 2012, I decided in 2013, I had to get coaching and mentoring in 2014. And that's when I really started tracking my numbers and getting my, you know, how many I was talking to up. And then boom, like within four months, you guys, we were in region qual. And that all had to do with bonusing, sponsoring numbers, um, and activity, you know, just tracking the activity. So I just wanted to hone in on that. That's if we're focused on numbers and sales, that's direct selling. If we're focused on sponsoring, that's network marketing. Okay, so I just wanted to, and, and Arbon is both. You can do, you know, it's both mixed together. But if you wanna grow, let's focus on our 40 faces, booking our calendar, earning our bonuses, helping other people on our team earn the consultant bonus, and we're gonna fly. We will, we're gonna fly to nation, you guys. I have goosebumps right now. Woo. It's so exciting because we just, I just think of Carol. She's like, Tammy, you're there. You just got to turn it up. And she would do that with her hand. Turn it up. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> so with all of that being said, thanks for sharing. Thanks for being part of my journey. And I'd love to turn it over to Sherry to talk a little bit about Beach Money and her insights from this book. And it's an awesome book. Kara, you have to get it because um, we're going to keep talking about it all month. But it, it really it really gives a good picture of how to build this business and how powerful it is just to stay steady, stay consistent. I think she ordered it while we were talking yesterday. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I love that visual, Tammy, because that's what grabbed me with this book and made me want to read it so fast. Because he did a visual, which I'm gonna send it in the Boxer Group right now. Because it's very easy to get frustrated in this business and feel like you're not making money. Because I feel like this all the time. I'm like, I feel like I'm spending a lot of time and I'm like, um, you know, when Tamla first started talking to me about paychecks and stuff and I'm like, I'm bringing in 70 bucks in a month. I'm like, this is ridiculous because we're so visual, right? We're so in our country, everything's immediate gratification. So I'm like $70, what the heck is this doing for me? Nothing. You know, when we go to a job, you get paid no matter what, where this business, you have to work to get that money. So um, his visual here just shows over the course of four years, which I sent in the box, boxer group. And I was like, this is so cool. Just showing what he made over the course of four years and where he got to, I was like, Okay. And it was all he stresses over and over and over again, consistency, patience, growing relationships and duplication. Duplication is key. And so now I'm like, okay, I'm, and then the other thing he said is to write down your vision and what you want out of life. And he was never into that doing that. He thought it was cheesy, which I am the same way. I absolutely agree. I'm always like hearing people like speak it out loud. I'm like, Okay, whatever. So I'm listening to him. I wrote down my vision. I've been reading it out loud every single day, three times, which sounds so different than putting it in your head. So once you put it out there, then the intention's out there. So I'm doing it. And that's what he said. He's like, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. So I'm like, I'm following all that, all of that. But can you uh, read it to us? Oh, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I feel like there's things on here that are like, I don't know. All right, fine. Um, I have an idea so we can write ours too. Okay. 
I just have it as numbered almost like 21 reasons why. So I just said, I will make 50,000 a month. I will have 20 to 30 uh, sponsors. I will, well, business partners. I will speak life into people on stage. I will have a brand new home with an amazing kitchen because I'm dying for a kitchen. <laughs> Um, I will travel the world with no money worries. I will help others have the same and be positive. I will have a team of people that love on others, excited about life and do the same for others. I will show that anyone can do this with consistency. I will show network marketing is cool and a solution. I will have a nice car and buy clothes without worry on amount. I will be the 1%. I will get my gut of corporate. I will make beach money. I will enjoy activities without feeling guilty. I will write a book to inspire others. I will have my nieces and nephews join me. I will have a Lake Michigan boat. I will have my own office in the house instead of using my dining room table. I will, have, I will add value to people who are around me and I will give back financially. Ooh, so many goosebumps, I love that. So um, the biggest thing I think to take away from this is looking at us, um, which I was talking to Kara about this yesterday is, um, taking what we're, what we're learning. We have the tools from Arbonne. It's just using them. And again, I've, I'm always trying to just finagle it and do it my way, which is totally fine when you're talking to people. But I think to do the day-to-day -day tasks are huge. So for the first time, I am actually printed out everything and I'm writing it down, which I was always using an Excel spreadsheet. But again, I guess it's the visual and hand to paper thing. So I'm like, I'm just going to try it for the rest of the year. I'm writing out my 100 person list. I started completely over. I didn't look at my spreadsheet and I sat down last night and I just started first thinking off the top of my head, who are people that are mover and shakers in my life that I know that are well connected and I put them on here. Whether or not they join my business, they're gonna connect me to other people. So I wrote all those people down. People that I think could use Arbon in their life to help change their health or whatever. People that I think would do a party for me. All of those people are on the list. Then I started going to my LinkedIn account because people that are on LinkedIn, they're constantly looking for opportunities. They're trying to share things. So I went there. I'm, I'm not done, but I'm going to go back and I'm looking at, and I'm like, oh my God, I forgot about this person. They, we like have such a great working relationship and people start popping up. So I'm going to LinkedIn. Then I'm going through Facebook. Obviously my phone, he talks about your Rolodex being your number one asset. Like you could lose your wallet today or your Rolodex, which one would you want to lose? He said, I would want to lose my wallet. Yes, it would be a short-term pain and you probably would lose some money, but your Rolodex is your life because this is all your contacts, all your connections, people that are going to help you and you're going to help them. And I never thought about that way, but I do remember when I left Vera Bradley and they took my phone back, I didn't have another phone and I lost every single contact and I, my heart melted because I spent... 17 years building all of these contacts and I lost them and it sucked because <laughs> I was like oh my word so I totally get what he's saying there because now I'm slowly rebuilding all of this over the past three and a half years trying to find all these people that I had amazing connections with of course you're going to get like your family and friends back in your phone but the business contacts I completely lost um so I get what he's saying so yeah so I started the 100 person list and what's great about this is it's easy to go do, to do your 40 person. So it's not like how I was doing it. Every morning I'd wake up and I'm like scrolling through Facebook and I'm like, okay, who needs help today? Where now I've already got people. So I'm just connecting to each one of these people through the daily method of success sheet, right? And then when I actually talk to them, I'm putting them on the sheet. So this is going to hold me accountable. And I've heard this many times through the leaders, but I'm like, I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna use my spit. So I'm trying it out going to do it for the rest of the year and see what happens. But the thing that I'm going to focus on is um, the vending machine thing, which I was telling Kara about yesterday is, you know, we, we just purchased a vending machine with Arbonne, right? So they are supplying all of the product in there. We're not buying it. We spent $49 for this and then $29 just to maintain it. We have customer service. We have products that they are filling in our vending machine. And by the way, they're health and wellness products. They're not, you know, chips and soda and everything that's making us not feel good. Um, so anyway, we do that. And so if we just constantly focus on selling product, we're only going to make, if I want beach money, I'm, only, I'm never going to get there. If all I'm doing is trying to sell products that are out of and getting my 15% commission. 
So the way to do it is to get a duplicate, get another vending machine, right? Get them all across the US, get them in our other countries, because then you're making, they just paid, you know, $49. You didn't pay $49 for that vending machine. So you, they did. And so now their products being put in there. And so then you're making a commission off that. So I was just like that visual for me was super helpful. Um, because I'm like, well, I want vending machines everywhere because not only is it creating beach bunny, but these vending machines are getting out there and we're helping change lives. We are helping to infuse beneficial products that are actually making people's mind, body, and skin better. So we need to plant these vending machines everywhere because not only is it the products that is good, but the person that's connected to each one of those vending machines is going to be a game changer and a life changer. So that's what I'm focusing on this month is getting people that want to make a difference in this world and buying that vending machine and getting it out there because we have so much crap coming to us on a day-to-day -day basis and we need to infuse that positivity and all of that into everyone else. So that's my takeaway from this book and I'm going to read it again. I love it. Yes. I'll, I'm reading, rereading it as well. Um, so the vending machine meaning a URL. So PCs do not get a URL with our button. They don't have a website. ICs, independent consultants, have a URL and are able to sponsor and to, you know, sponsor other people to get their own vending machine and URL. So basically, and just to just to break this down, because Arbon is amazing. It's our basically our umbrella company. We're we're bringing our network and our channel of distribution to Arbon. So that's what we own. That's what we own. We don't own Arbon, right? <laughs> they have the products, the catalog, the, the distribution, they do the customer service, they figure out payroll, but we own our channel of distribution that we create through our network, through scrolling through Facebook, our phone, Instagram, LinkedIn, who we went to church with, who we played sports with, our relatives, our neighbors, our coworkers, that's our unique channel of distribution. And you guys, that might not be the first per like I look at this screen and and you guys, Sherry was not the first person I talked to to get to I talked to Erica first to get to Sherry. I talked to um oh dear, what's her name now? <laughs> I talked to someone else, Lauren's friend first to, to get to Lauren. You know, I, I just like the, the people you're connected to right now might not join your business but the people they're connected to are gonna join your business. So keep that in mind, just keep an open mind and open heart because it's here for you. It's here, it's just doing the do and getting used to kind of the mundane, everyday, daily method of success sheet and doing it. You know, committing to staying steady and, um, and committing to sponsoring and growing your team um, every day, every day, every day. And sharing this gift, like Sherry said, you know, knowing that this, this has the potential and is changing lives. Um, what we have a hold of here. The products are amazing. They'll change your health, but this business will absolutely change a life, you know, just to have more choices, more freedom, a backup plan. Um, and yes, I, I know that's what people are crying and praying for right now is that backup plan and that security. So anyway, thank you so much for sharing, Jerry. That was beautiful. And I, I hope you guys got a lot out of this today. What do you think? Any questions or comments or input? Thanks, Tammy, for organizing as usual cool. and putting that together, that spreadsheet. I, I, that's just helpful because then yeah. you can see where you need to do more work if it's not mm -hmm. where you want it to be. Well, and track tracking is so helpful to me because otherwise it's like you, oh, sure, I'm, I'm doing it. Eh. It's like, no, not really. I wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, track, track your numbers. Get excited about that. Yeah, I, I, I'm very excited about this. And I feel like Sherry and I were talking about it, need to dive into the 40 faces. And that's really gonna what's sustained me at area, but also help, help grow beyond that. Because like you said, not network marketing if we're, if we're just selling product every month. Mm -hmm. And relying on reorders. Yeah. 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 So, and, and that's the beauty is we get to launch ourselves as a brand new consultant every month, every day. We get to look in the mirror and say, today's the day. Today's day one. 
<laughs> doesn't matter if it's the 29th of the month. It can be day one. It's okay. You know, but we, we can do that. We can relaunch ourselves anytime. So that's what I would encourage us all to do for August is relaunch. Let's go. 40 faces. <laughs> Aw. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being for being here and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Yeah, thanks Tammy. Hi everyone. All right. Thank Love you, Tammy. You. Oh, yes, and thank remember you. Nation Zoom tomorrow night at eight. Okay. Okay. Love you.